what's going on here today, it's come to the pointy end. We've tried to negotiate with council and we are getting nowhere. Now time is ticking on. David, how are you? Okay, David, let's find out how are you. Exactly. And, that, and that's part of it. If you're going to get a quality service, you need quality staff or government. Yeah, so what do they usually do? Is it a turnover of trucks as well? Yeah, everything's new. Like I said, we're not asking for a pay rise or any, anything else. We just want what we've got and we just don't see why the council can't secure the local jobs. All, these, all of us live locally and um, we like working and living here locally and we just shouldn't have to um, fight so much for it. 10 hours plus a day. And yeah, look, we're doing this, the community service. And that money gets taken off us, where's it going to go? Where, where's it going to go? To ask them to have a loss of $300 a week, no one could take that on. They've got mortgages. They've got uh, bills, they've got kids, just like everyone else. These are 22 tonne vehicles going down sometimes very precarious streets. We need professional drivers, full-time drivers who know what they're doing, who can keep our community safe. Central Coast Council needs to consider all of the community's view on this matter. It's not just a matter for those workers and council, it's a matter for everybody on the Central Coast. It's about the quality of the service we get from the existing workers, and it's about their families in our community and, and their economic well-being. Hopefully, it could be a positive outcome if council will just solve this problem that we've got and let's sit down and negotiate a decent outcome for these workers.